Hi there folks, just wanted to go through a uh, what's called a YouTube manometer problem. Um, basically it's establishing establishing the um, the pressure of a point here inside the manometer um, based on uh, knowing the density of this liquid here, the density of this liquid here and the these different height different heights. Um, for this particular problem, we will call this liquid water and this liquid mercury. The density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is 1000 kgs per cubic meter. Density of mercury is 13,570 kgs per cubic meter and we'll be using those, um, those um, figures there in our problem. Um, also as reference gravitational acceleration is 9.81 meters per second squared. Um, we're going to be using the equation pressure equals density times gravity times height um, and uh, okay we will establish a firstly we'll establish a few things we can see straight away about this problem um, using the uh, lever rule we can see that these two points here are in the same line and therefore um, we'll have the same pressures we can also see that this point at the top here is open to the atmosphere, therefore its pressure is zero at this point. So we'll just jot these down now. Pressure at B is equal to pressure at C, and pressure at D is zero. Now what we're going to do is um, we will a uh, we will define the pressure at B in terms of the pressure at A. So we have pressure at B equals pressure at A and now an important principle is when you're going down in a liquid the pressure increases just like diving down in a swimming pool the pressure increases the closer you get to the bottom and when you go up the pressure decreases and in this case it decreases, decreases, decreases right up to uh, gauge zero or um, atmospheric pressure. So uh, pressure at B equals pressure at A plus, that's plus because we're increasing the pressure, plus density of this liquid here which is water. We'll just pop the uh, symbols in for now. We'll use W for water. Density of water times gravitational acceleration times the height. Um, we'll actually use the figures for the height. So this height difference between A and B, 3.6 minus 3, which is 0 0.6. We'll just toss that in there now. Um, and what we also want is pressure at C. I know we've said already that pressure at B equals pressure at C, but we'll call it pressure at, pressure at C for now. Now the pressure at C, using the same principles we've just used here, equals pressure at point D, which is zero, so we'll just toss zero in there, zero uh, plus, plus because we're going deeper into the liquid, pressure is increasing, plus density of this liquid here, which in, the, in this case is the manometer liquid, um, and the density of that is mercury, which is density of mercury times gravitational acceleration times the height, 3.9 minus 3, which is 0 0.9. Now we've got ourselves two equations here, and if you can see that PB equals PC, you can see that these two these two here actually equate based on this principle here. So what we can do is rewrite 
these two as one. So we'll just say PB equals PC, so PB pressure at A plus density of water times gravity times 0.6 equals, that's just zero, so we'll get rid of the zero, density of mercury times gravitational acceleration times 0 0.9. Now you can see uh, that we've got um, one unknown in here and the rest of them are nines. We know density of water, we know gravitational acceleration, we know density of mercury. We'll just rearrange this to make pressure at A the subject. Pressure at A equals this side minus that side because we're just bringing that whole term over to this side. So it's going to be pressure at A equals this minus that. So density mercury, gravitational 0.9 minus density water, gravity 0.6. And we'll just pull out a few factors here. So we'll, um, gravity is a common factor in both of these. So we can say gravity, pull that one out, pull that one out. Gravity times density mercury times 0 0.9 minus density water times 0 0.6 equals PA. Now we'll start tossing a few figures in here. G, 9.81, 9.81 times density mercury, 13.570 kgs times 0.9 minus density of water, 1000 kgs per cubic meter times 0.6. At this point, we can whip the calculator out and solve this thing. So, 13,570 times 0.9 minus 1,000 times 0.6 is 11,613. 11, so, 9.81 times 11. Six one three, which equals nine point eight one 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 three nine two three point five two pascals. That's the pressure at A. That's a gauge pressure. It's not absolute pressure. Absolute pressure is gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure. We're simply using atmospheric pressure as a datum. So we have we have basically defined atmospheric pressure as zero, just using it as a datum point. It's important to state that. This pressure here is not absolute. That's just uh, called a gauge pressure. So um, you'd probably, you'd write uh, in a formal sentence, you'd say gauge pressure at A is one one three point nine kilopascals. So there we go. We've used um, we've used some some little rules, lever rule. Um, this formula here. Uh, densities of the liquids and um, uh, positive or negative pressure increase to establish the uh, pressure at this point. That's a Simple YouTube manometer problem. Um, hope that helps you out. Um, if you enjoy it, please rate it and leave some comments. Thanks very much.